Today on Ask Bloop, Maya, 3D Max, or Soft Damage? Welcome to Ask Bloop, Mori from BloopAnimation.com. It's Friday and it's time for your questions. I'm making an animated short, but I can't draw on my computer. Is it really important to make a 2D version of your film first, or can I just get started without it? When you say 2D version of your film, I assume you mean an animatic, which is basically a cut of your storyboard on a timeline to present a watchable version of your story before production starts. And yes, it's very important. I mean, if you don't have the hardware to make an animatic, how are you gonna make the movie? But regardless of what software you have, skipping important steps in making a short is a great way to make sure that your film is not gonna get done. I know everyone is excited to get to the fun stuff, but doing these important steps like storyboarding, animatic, previs, it's really important for you to be sure that your story works. Skip them at your own peril. You've used green screen, didn't you? No. What's the difference between 3D Max, Maya, and Softimage? Well, Softimage was discontinued in 2014 by Autodesk, who owns all three programs, and they offered their customers an option to migrate to either 3D Max or Maya. As for these two, they were both acquired by Autodesk at different times, and while being pretty similar, they each have their own loyal customer base. If you wanna put them in boxes to make it easy to differentiate, Maya is more standard in film production, while 3D Max is more popular among architects and designers due to the integration with AutoCAD. They're both equally popular in the gaming industry, and it's said that 3D Max's UI is a bit more intuitive, though I have no experience with it. I personally work with Maya. I think at this point we could have done uh, with having only one of the two and would be fine, but because they each have such a loyal following and people are very used to whatever they're using, Autodesk is maintaining both of them. Can you make a Cinema 4D course? Yes, we're currently working on a TV paint course, but Cinema 4D is definitely on the list, so stay tuned. That's all the questions for today. If you have one, post it in the comment section below. And if you wanna stay updated on animation news, watch new tutorials, or see if your question was answered, click the subscribe button, either the actual button at the bottom of the video or the circle with the P in it. They both work, I think, pretty much the same way.